Honorable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker, on International Women's Day, we celebrate strong women who had the courage to break down walls and inspire future generations. The women in our Canadian Armed Forces deserve to serve alongside their male counterparts and to do so proudly. But when the Minister of Defence was made aware of serious allegations of sexual misconduct at the highest level, he did nothing. How will he repair the damage done? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, as we, first of all, I disagree with the member's assertions. There's a lot more work that, that needs to be done. But the, uh, the assertion that the member made um, is absolutely wrong. Um, Any time information that was brought forward, it's always taken to the appropriate authorities. But I do agree, agree with the member. A lot more work that needs to be done to root this out. This is going to take a significant effort, an effort that should have started a long time ago, way before our government uh, was elected, Mr. Speaker. But we're going to continue that work because we believe in it. We have to get this done, and we will. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, for three years, the Minister of Defence turned a blind eye to serious allegations against the former uh, Director of the Canadian Armed Forces. Now, another high up stands accused, while a whistleblower has received threats. No action was taken, and the abusive behaviour was allowed to continue. What will the Minister do now to ensure that the Canadian Armed Forces are completely free from harassment. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I completely agree with the member where we need to take action so we can have an inclusive environment, Mr. Speaker. We have done considerable work, but we have a lot more work to do. We actually got forward, uh, got past the Declaration of Victims' Rights Bill, which, by the way, Mr. Speaker, it died on the order paper uh, with the previous government. We have currently a review of the military justice system, how we can move forward. SMRC is also moving forward. We're currently looking at what type of independence need, needs to be provided. We have an independent panel on systemic racism and gender bias. I'm looking forward to those recommendations so that we can continue the progress that we have already started because our women deserve to have an inclusive place in the Canadian Armed Forces. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, when faced with serious allegations of sexual misconduct within the top ranks of the Canadian Forces, the Prime Minister and this Defence Minister failed to act. And now a whistleblower has been threatened to secure his silence. Senior officers who may themselves be complicit remain in key positions within the chain of command. Victims and whistleblowers must be able to come forward without fear of reprisal. How will the Defence Minister protect victims and ensure that those who may stand accused won't interfere to protect themselves? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we want our survivors to come forward. We want them to be able to put forward the allegations. They will be heard. They will be protected. At no time did any staff member in my office ever speak with any of the callers. And any insinuation that any political staff ever reached out to the caller is absolutely false. Thank you.